Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome Miss Cherries and thank you for clicking this video. So today I'll be doing my first impressions, makeup tutorials, and also swatches of the new Danessa Myrex Lightwork Volume 3 Infinite Light Palette. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Just in case you haven't heard about Danessa March, she's a very, very talented makeup artist. I have been following her on Instagram for years now. Her makeup tutorials are out of this world. She reminds me of Pat McGrath. So she's known for very glamorous looks, uh, shimmery metallic eyeshadows. I have her um, liquid eyeshadows, which I have been really, really loving. So this one is the new palette from... The brand, I pre-ordered this one on Beautylish for $125, yes, $125 um, for this eyeshadow palette, that's Pat McGrath Mothership price, I know. So I was very confused about this palette, this doesn't have any matte shades, so I had to use um, my other palettes. This side, I'm wearing the um, Busy Art Beige Set, only the matte shades. And on this side, I'm wearing the MAC Cosmetics. She's in parties, so I decided to use the thing, um eyeshadow palettes because no, this one doesn't have any matte shades. So I'm going to show you guys the inside of this palette. I did not expect to get this one very early because uh, when I pre-ordered this one, it's, when I pre-ordered this one, it um, says that this would be delivered on the 29 i got this one today which today was today 28 so i got this one like a day early i live nearby not very near maybe 30 40 minutes from um, beautilish warehouse so that's why i got my package very early so this is the packaging it's cardboard let me show you guys you can see the galaxy um design in the front and it says that it's a Marex and at the back information about the shades so this one is let me read the description of this one so it doesn't say how much each gram in here it only says net weight total net weight is 0.78 ounces or 22 grams so this one is assembled in USA made made in China so this packaging for $125 it doesn't feel nice it doesn't feel expensive so it feels a little on the cheap side so I'm gonna show you guys the palette again and I'm gonna share the inside of this okay let me remove um, this here so you can uh, now um, or uh, purchase this one on Sephora if you want to use your points. So I purchased this one during Beautylish gift card event. So I was able to get $20 off. Again, use a $20 gift card, not off. $20 gift card for my next purchase. So, oh my goodness, I just, oh my goodness. Sorry, oh my god, I was just... Scrape it. Okay. All right, guys. So, oh my goodness, I already ruined the palette, guys. My goodness. Okay. So let me show you guys the inside. So this palette also came with the mini, like highlighting palette. All the uh, the shades in the middle. These are multi comb shades. So this one is a cream. So this is very interesting. So this one is the light work infinite light palette. Uh, this all over face multi use palette is curated with 14 out of this world gal galactical shades in multiple mesmerizing finishes. So it has five finishes holographic powders. These are the holographic powders. Um, dual chromes. I think the bottom and some, maybe one in here in the bottom and or top. I don't know. I'm gonna let you guys know. I have to make sure. Um, gel, uh, dual chrome gels. Press glitter. I think this is the press glitter powder creams and multi comb pigments. So let me uh, swatch the shades right now. So I'm gonna swatch maybe four shades. Oh, this is yeah, definitely a cream eyeshadow. Show you guys. Wow, look at this color. What is this one? Oh, Martian wow 
So the first shade is Polaris. This is a cream eyeshadow. So this is opalescent yellow to seafoam green double chrome gel. This is a very interesting formula. It's a gel cream type eyeshadow. Next is Galaxy, which is a multi-chrome pigment with smoky teal green and violet shift. Wow, that's pretty. The next shade is Martian. Martian is a multi-chrome pigment with icy blue, green, lilac, and plum brown shift. Wow, that's pretty. And then the last shade is Soul, which is a gilded khaki gold powder cream. So this one is similar, but this is a gel type eyeshadow. Wow, this is pretty. This one, especially this. Wow. Let's watch Orion. This is a pressed, okay, pressed glitter. And I'm going to show you guys. Orion is an aquatic turquoise pressed glitter, as you can see. It says on the website that you do not need to use uh, glue with this um, head, uh, with this pressed glitter, but I still recommend to use a glue, guys, if you want to make it last a long time. And no fallout at all. Very like interesting um, formula. Now I'm gonna swatch the shades. So like I mentioned before, these are holographic. Um, powders so let's go swatch these powders so let me make sure that my fingers are clean so now i'm gonna swatch go the first four so they feel very kind of dry so let's see so this one is the shade golden eclipse Wow, this is um, Sunset Peach Holographic Powder. And the next shade is Strawberry Boon. Oh, wow, that's pretty. This is Pink Lilac Holographic. This one, I can see the Pink Lilac Holographic. This one's a little bit peachy, but not too peach. Next one is Spring Equinox. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. That one is Glossier Blue Lavender Holographic Powder. Now I'm going to swatch the last shades. So this one is a gel cream type formulation, same as the Polaris. So let me swatch the shades. And look at these beautiful shades, guys. These are so beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to swatch Space Suit. So this is a gel type fiery coral blood orange and honey dual gel so definitely same formulation as the one on top and then the next shade is aurora Ooh, that purple pretty so aurora is a multi-chrome pigment with electric plum fuchsia and olive green shift next shade is gaia Ooh, multi-chrome pigment with copper bronze and emerald shift this one is Solar Rain, which is a multi-chrome pigment with pearl, peach, key lime, and platinum shift. And then the last shade, Black Hole. This is a creamy powder formula that's pigmented. So he already swatches again. I'm going to use a shade Galaxy on my outer half. Ooh, look at that shade. I'm gonna apply this one on the side. Ooh, this is a multi-chrome pigment. You can see the teal and the gray shift to this one. And you can see the green, purple, blue. Wow, this is pretty. Wow, that's pigmented. And I still have this one on my finger. I'm gonna use the shade Martian. This shade, what is Martian? Martian is a multi-chrome 
uh, pigment with icy blue, green, lilac, and plum brown shade. Wow, this is a cream. It feels like cream to powder, a uh, cream powder type of formula. No follow at all. I'm gonna me have to reapply my matte um, shadows, but oh my goodness, beautiful. This is a very beautiful palette. So I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna use the uh, shades from the bottom and you know, I love my purples. So I'm gonna use the shade Aurora and apply this one on my outer half. Ooh. the shine back there without emphasizing my lid wow and then um Gaia I think I'm gonna use this one shade on my inner half I'm gonna try to use all of the shades I mean there's like 14 shades in here of course I'm not gonna be able to use everything I'm gonna try to use as much as I Again, so wow I know it looks really messy right now but I'm gonna move on I'm gonna use two um, highlighters or these I can use these big pants as highlighters and also as eyeshadows so I'm gonna use the shade strawberry moon strawberry moon is a pink lilac holographic um eyeshadow so i'm gonna use this one on my left side oh yeah it's a little on the chalky side but oh my god wow let me apply a little bit on this side i'm gonna take the shade blue moon this last shade, which is a glossier blue lavender holographic powder. I'm gonna put this on my right. Wow. Maybe a little bit more on this side too. There you go, guys. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put on the my false lashes then i'll be right back to you guys my final thoughts went ahead applied eyeshadow same eyeshadows that applied on my lid so i use these two on my right side and these two on my left side now i'm gonna uh use maybe golden eclipse i'm gonna try use the uh i'm not gonna try i'm gonna use um, the highlighters or the uh, multi-chrome pigments or powders although i am already wearing highlighter cream highlighter from huda i'm gonna use this one i really want to use this also oh, this is very powdery i'm gonna apply this on top of my gold highlighter so very glittery and then maybe I'm going to use the shade Spring Equinox on my left side. Wow. See the shift, the green shift? This is pretty. Wow. Maybe a little bit on my nose. Oh, wow. This is pretty. Wow. Wow, that's pretty. That's beautiful. Alright guys, so let me zoom out a little bit and then tell you guys my final thoughts. So the packaging, I don't really like this packaging. It feels cheap. For for the price, it feels, I don't know, it doesn't feel luxe. It feels really lightweight. It's cardboard, it doesn't feel, you know, like Pat McGrath, Mothership packaging. But the shades inside are very unique, very different from Pat McGrath Mothership palettes. Um, I have to say, I really, really, really like the uh, different finishes. They are very unique, at least in my makeup collection. So it has holographic powders, which you can use as eyeshadows and also highlighters. I'm actually wearing all five shades on my eyes and also on my cheeks. 
then it has uh, what else dual chrome gels press glitter only has one powder creams and also multi-chrome pigments from what i've read online i think the multi-chrome pigments are very they're very expensive to make probably that's why it's 125 dollars because the quality of their shadows not so much of the packaging or maybe i could be wrong but i don't really know so overall guys this is a really beautiful very unique palette this in my makeup collection the multi-chrome shades applied so so smoothly no fallout at all i was so afraid or fall out because already applied my base or my foundation concealer so i was very scared but i was wrong guys no fallout at all nothing at all very easy to apply did not make my eyelids wrinkly or patchy what else uh, or make my uh, did not make my eyelids look what else uh, weird so it just everything really oh my god everything looked really really beautiful applied everything applied so smoothly so this is a really really unique eyeshadow palette the only negative thing about this one <laughs> it doesn't have matte shades so you have to use your other palettes which i personally do not mind because i have a lot of eyeshadow palettes i love to collect eyeshadow palette so i don't personally don't i don't really mind at all so this is a really really great palette if you don't wanna you know pay the full price of this one because 125 dollars is expensive it's a lot of money um so for us coming out with their sale i think i think a week from now they're gonna be having their saving sale event so if you want to save a little money maybe just wait for the sale this one's available on sephora beautylish i think and also i think the nessa Marek's website so let me know guys what you think about this new palette from the nessa Marek's. if you guys are interested please let me know please comment down below so thank you all so much for watching this is the end of my video please don't forget to subscribe on my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys on my next video Bye bye